both fights. It's true, I believe. It was all of birds, and I held them at last. When I opened them, heavens, they all flew away. I cried, come back. They all left. They flew on until they were as sand, thrown between me and the sky. Think as I think, said a man, or you are abominably wicked. You are a toad. And after I had thought of it, I said, I will then be a toad. A learned man came to me once. He said, I know the way. Come. And I was overjoyed at this. Together we hastened. Soon, too soon were we where my eyes were useless, and I knew not the ways of my feet. I clung to the hand of my friend, but at last he cried, I am lost. I have heard the sunset song of the birches, a white melody in the silence. I have seen a quarrel of the pines. At nightfall, the little grasses have rushed by me with the windmen. These things have I lived, quoth the maniac, possessing only eyes and ears, but you, you don green spectacles before you look at roses. I saw a man pursuing the horizon. Round and round they sped. I was disturbed at this. I accosted the man. It is futile, I said. You can never... You lie, he cried, and ran on. There were many who went in huddled procession. They knew not whither. But at any rate, success or calamity would attend all inequality. There was one who sought a new road. He went into direful thickets and ultimately died thus, alone. But they say he had courage. There was set before me a mighty hill, and long days I climbed through regions of snow. When I had before me the summit view, it seemed that my labor had been to see gardens, lying at impossible distances. Tradition, thou art for suckling children. Thou art the enlivening milk for babes. But no meat for man is in thee. Then, alas, we all are babes. Wayfarer, perceiving the pathway to truth, was struck with astonishment. It was thickly grown with weeds. Ha, he said, I see that none has passed here in a long time. Later he saw that each weed was a singular knife. Well, doubtless there are other ways. I should cast off this tattered coat free into the mighty sky, if I should find nothing there but a vast blue, echoless and ignorant, and then... There was before me mile upon mile of snow, ice, burning sand, and yet I could look beyond all this to a place of infinite beauty. And I could see the loveliness of her who walked in the shade of the tree. When I gazed, all was lost but this place of beauty in her. When I gazed, and in my gazing desired, then came upon me again, mile upon mile, of snow, ice, burning sand.
Do not weep, maiden, for war is coming. Because your lover threw wild hands toward the sky, and the affrighted steed ran on alone, do not weep. War is kind. Hoarse, booming drums of the regiment, little souls who thirst for fight. These men were born to drill and die. The unexplained glory flies above them. Great is the battle god, great and his kingdom, a field where a thousand corpses lie. Do not weep, babe, for war is kind. Because your father tumbled in the yellow trenches, raged at his breast, gulped and died. Do not weep, war is kind. Swift blazing flag of the regiment, eagle with crest of red and gold, these men were born to drill and die. Point for them the virtue of slaughter. Make plain to them the excellence of killing and a field where a thousand corpses lie. Mother whose heart hung humble as a button on the bright splendid shroud of your son, do not weep. War is kind. A man said to the universe, Sir, I exist. However, replied the universe, the fact has not created in me a sense of obligation. The livid lightnings flashed in the clouds. The leaden thunders crashed. A worshiper raised his arm. Hearken, hearken, the voice of God. Not so said a man. The voice of God whispers in the heart so softly that the soul pauses, making no noise, and strives for these melodies, distant, sighing like faintest breath, and all the being is still to hear. There was a man with tongue of wood who essayed to sing, and in truth, it was lamentable. But there was one who heard the clip clapper of his tongue of wood and knew what the man wished to say. And with that, the singer was content. 